Thought I'd break out my fire pistons today and give them a try. Got a little piece of char cloth in the end of this plunger. Maybe it's just best to demonstrate how it works and then talk about it a little bit. All right, got a piece of char cloth lit. Got a uh, jute twine all fuzzed up tinder bundle here. Jute's fun to play with. Whee! There we go. Alright. This is a fire piston. It works basically on the same principle as a diesel engine. I think it's called adiabatic compression. And basically what that means is if you take a piston like this and you compress air quickly enough and tightly enough it'll get really hot. It'll get hot enough, in fact, to ignite char cloth. Here's some char cloth I made some time ago. There's lots of videos you can find on the internet for how to make char cloth. This piston uh, is kind of small. My dad and I made this about 10 years ago. It's just a, a steel rod we threaded it on the upper end and put a plastic knob on it. We machined a groove in for uh, a little O-ring and we machined in a little divot in the end that would hold a little piece of char cloth. Because this one is so small, and, and by the way, the, uh, the, the, the case here, the, the, the piston, this I guess is the piston, this is the tube. This is just made out of a hard, uh, 3 8 inch uh, copper um, and put a threaded cap on the bottom. This one is so small that uh, the only way I've been able to, to make it work is to ignite a small piece of, of uh, char cloth in the, in the tip of the piston and then use that to light a uh, larger piece that I can then use to uh, take a tender bundle to flame. I've got another fire piston here that I bought on eBay a little while ago. Um, it's made by a company called P.S. Cook, P-S-K-O-O-K, -O -O -K. all those letters just jammed together. I paid, I think, 15 bucks for it on eBay, it comes from China, so be prepared for a wait. But it's a nice little kit, it comes in a, a little tin. This is just a piece of cleaning cloth. Came, uh, they gave me a little uh, bag of jute twine to, for a uh, tinder bundle. Uh, Came with some O-ring lubricant, a collection of spare O-rings, which will be real handy. Some char cloth, I like to make my own. And it even came with uh, some burlap that you can use to make your own char cloth with later. And this tin would be dandy for making char cloth with. And this is the actual piston itself. It's very nice. On this end, it's got an O-ring seal. You loosen it up just a little bit. And that'll allow you to pull the piston out. This has got two O-rings and a much bigger divot than in my little piston. That's the way you store it. All goes back nicely into the little kit. Um, like I said, I made this one a long time ago with my dad. There are lots of plans for fire pistons on the internet. We read several, didn't use any of them 
in particular all the way through we kind of got the idea and kind of winged it from there so I don't want to go into too many details on how we made this it, we did it such a long time ago but uh, maybe you'll give it a try sometime I don't really know exactly how old the fire piston technique really is I've done a fair amount of reading on it and uh, it could go back as early as about 1500 BC uh, found some reference to bamboo uh, piston type bellows that could have been a forerunner to uh, the fire piston. Those piston type bellows were used in the Bronze Age in uh, the Far East, um, Southeast Asian countries. And uh, about everything I've read seems to indicate that it w was not invented any later than maybe three, four, or 500 AD. So sometime between about 1500 BC and maybe about four or 500 AD is when the fire piston was likely discovered, but nobody knows for sure. Almost certainly uh, was discovered in Southeast Asia, perhaps by cultures that uh, used uh, blow guns for, for hunting animals. A uh, lot of references to uh, the fire piston being discovered in the Philippines. Uh, don't really know for sure, but anyway. Um, if you're interested in buying an inexpensive but nice fire piston, I, I really do encourage you to, to look at the PS Cook brand. They're on Amazon, they're on eBay. And if you really get inspired, maybe take a try and make one of your own. See if you can make it work. Have a good evening.